All right, we'll move, we'll move on to the top five games of the week. We're going to start off with the stinker of the list, North Carolina State versus North Carolina. Uh, in-state rivalry for them. UNC favored six and a half. UNC not looking hot after uh, a big, big time L to uh, – I already forgot. Damn it. Georgia Tech. To Georgia Tech. Yep. Uh, Barrett, what do you think? This North North Carolina has to. They're already in the uh, the championship game, the ACC championship game. But it's like you can't you can't take this L going into that game, right? Yeah, I think uh, UNC takes care of business here. This is the televised game at two thirty two. Okay, on ABC. Well, it's said so what are you thinking? It's rivalry. So you never know what's going to happen, but UNC is going to have a bounce back here. You can't – this is a big momentum game because coming off a loss, your rival rolls into town, there's no way you can even let this game be close if you're in North Carolina. I mean, you know, in-state, right? It's in-state rivals. So yeah, you yeah. want to beat them just the way same way Oklahoma wants to beat Oklahoma State, vice versa. So UNC is going to probably come out. Drake May is going to have an amazing game, and I think I, expect, I would expect North Carolina to roll right here. I agree. I think North Carolina rolls this going into momentum against Clemson in the ACC championship. They need this win. If they don't, I mean, Clemson, Clemson has a path to get in. It's not pretty. A lot of teams have to lose, but Clemson has a path to get in and it starts beating North Carolina. But if North Carolina doesn't roll in this game ranked, then Clemson has no shot. Mm. Cause if North Carolina loses to NC state, they're probably at. <laughs> All right, we'll move on down here to two two lane versus Cincinnati. Uh, I only put this game on here because it, it seems to be like a growing rivalry. I don't know if both these teams are in Ohio. I have no <laughs> idea no idea where two lane is. I'll just be completely honest. No idea where two lane resides, but I'm nineteen thinking, versus twenty four. Isn't two lane on the peep that team that almost beat us? Aren't they in Louisiana? They did almost beat us last year. That was Tulane, right? Yeah, yeah, that was Tulane. Opening week, OU versus Tulane last year, down to the wire. I think they're from Louisiana. Let's see. Go check his advance. They are from New Orleans, Louisiana. Mm, Boom. They're they're down there in the bayou, down there in the bayou. But, I mean, you guys got a pick on this game. You got a favorite, Cincinnati, two and a half. You think Tulane kind of rides this year out? I mean, they looked very good last year, and they come in this year. I'll be honest, I one snap of Tulane slash Cincinnati <laughs> football this year. Um, so go ahead and give me the home team, Cincinnati, for just the pick wise, but I have no fucking clue. All right, Barrett, what are you thinking? You watch you watching Tulane games? God, yeah, dude. You know that one guy, <laughs> uh, Brad Smith and and Tyler Yeager's out there. Uh give me Tulane. I like it. I I also like Tulane <laughs> to win this game here, but I not a whole lot of snaps watched. All right, we'll move on to Oregon versus Oregon State in-state rivalry at Oregon State's uh, at the Beaver Dam, I guess is what they call it. Uh, Number nine, Oregon versus 21, Oregon State. Seth, what do you think? Trap game or does Oregon handle business? Oregon's going to handle their business. They know they got a big one ahead of them. You know, you are kind of looking ahead, maybe just a little. You know, going to have to look at USC. Which game's? uh, I'm sure it's kicking off late. I know USC is kicking off at six thirty. What time is this game, Vince? You know, for chance? I'll take a gander if you guys. Want I'm to sure. Play. I'm sure it's a late game, um, so they probably can't catch it. Two th- two thirty. Really? Like Eastern time, so it's like early. That's like shit. eleven o'clock for us, right? You know, I mean, it, it's well, eleven least. o'clock for them. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm saying. It's like, yeah, it's two thirty our time. It's like watching an eleven a. It's like watching an eleven kick off here for them, sort of. I don't know what I'm going with this. Anyway, it's an no. early game for a West Coast team. There you go. Sure. Boom, boom, boom. Sure. I don't think this is going to be a trap game for Oregon. I think they're going to take care of business and then they're going to move on and they're probably going to go watch film on USC at Notre Dame and then we're going to see what happens there. So give me, give me Oregon in the points. Barry, what are you thinking? Give me the Beavs. You like the Beavers? Upset. Uh oh. I mean, hey, Oregon State's kind of a tough place to play. Yeah. Um, I like, man, I'm kind of on the same boat with Barrett, honestly. Do it, dude. I think this is one of those games. Finally. 
Yeah, Bo Nix is going to roll in there. I th- I think this is going to be an absolutely incredible game to watch. But this is the game that's going to knock Oregon out of the Pac-12 championship and allow Utah to slide on in as they have a cupcake against Colorado this week. One in ten Colorado, and they're a thirty-point favorite over Colorado. So I like. Give me the beeves on an upset win here. Yeah, Bo Nix throws picks. He's not. He's not looking great the past couple of games. Uh, give me, the give me under the beeves. beeves. Give me the beeves. All right, Notre Dame versus the Trojans. Under beeves. Number one quarterback in the nation. Obviously, the best player in the nation. Uh, I like I like USC to win this game, dude. They they're rolling. You have the best quarterback in the nation. He's putting him on the back. He's doing everything he's supposed to do. You know, real Jimmy G like. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, wow. <laughs> He's doing everything he's supposed to be doing. Caleb Williams is proving why he was number one recruit out of the nation two years ago, and he's proving why he's the number one quarterback in the nation this year and why he's going to be the number one pick in the draft next year. Barry, what do you think? Man, I really want to pick uh, Nick Lampson, Notre Dame by 12. I really want to pick Notre Dame because obviously not a eh, Lincoln Riley and Caleb. Yeah, they're good but they can seriously still eat a D. But, um, <laughs> you know, I try to uh, try to be a realist about most things, and I'm going to pick the Trojans here. Notre Dame's uh, storybook ending after their rough start will uh, come to a close here against USC. Seth, what do you think? This is where you guys are wrong. Wow. Okay. I don't know. Hope what I, guys, yes, I hope I am. This is where you got. I don't know. Caleb Bloom's best player. He is. He's the best player in college football. But when you look at a team that's coming in as hot as Notre Dame, whenever you look at a team that comes in playing the great defense like Notre Dame, I think they're going to do what they need to do to stop USC, even at home. And this is going to be a good, good starting season for whatever the head new head coach is in for the game. They're going to get the talent. But hopefully we get Peyton Bowen from Notre Dame. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I got Notre Dame in this game. Oh boy! Oh, okay. All right, I like it. Then we move on to the powerhouse game of the week: uh, Michigan at Ohio State in Columbus. Mm. Barrett, what are you thinking? Does Harbaugh does Harbaugh eclipse Ohio State two years in a row, or is or is that a one year blunder? He does have the best running back in the country, I guess, in Blake Corum. Blake Corum's hurt. Oh. Yeah, I think it was an anomaly last year. Uh, Sorry, Nick Lamb, Big Blue will not get it done. Ohio (laughs) State State is just a a tank. I think they're like sort of like the a better um, a better Bills team of the NFL. Just kind of before the Bills started, like just losing randomly. Um, But yeah, Ohio State's there. They're I think they beat Michigan. I think they cover the spread too. By the way, eighteen to twelve. Nah, this is going to be a high scoring game. Yeah, this game's going to be all out score. Scoreboard's going to be lit up. Seth, what are you thinking? Uh, like I said, Blake Corm kind of tweaked his knee a little last week. Only played one snap in the second half. But some expect some Friday night lights. Uh, some stuff here. No real updates been given on it. He said he was fine, but uh, he may get the old juice to the knee. You know, say hardball. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. He's definitely going to play. Harbaugh's going to give him the pat on the back saying, you you got that ball, boy. Let's go. You know, let's run this rock. And then, you know, he's going to get significantly hurt later on. I hope not. But, you know, um, Friday Night Lights. But, yeah, I think – I don't know. <laughs> this is hard to read. What's what C.J. Stroud, what off Ohio State offense are you going to get? Because there's been obviously multiple times this season where you looked at him and said, wow, that's not what we used to see him after they got their, their balls gargled on for – <laughs> first half of the season by Joel Clatton, all of them saying Ohio State was literally unbeatable. Um, uh, fuck it, give me. I'm gonna. I'm. I, I believe in Harbaugh. I believe in Harbaugh. Give me Damn. Harbaugh. Wow. So the key to this game is gonna be Blake Corum. His health. If, if he doesn't play, they are toast. Well, the backup's not bad, but Blake Donovan Corum, Edward, Donovan Edwards. 471 yards on the ground this year, four touchdowns. He's not bad. Obviously, they're riding Blake Quorum, who has more 
has two less running attempts than their starting quarterback has passing attempts. Jesus. That tells you that they ride this guy. JJ McCarthy is not. He's having a he's having a phenomenal season in terms of like not turning the ball over, right? 14-2 touchdown interception ratio, 1900 yards and the dude's played in in every game. Cade McNamara played first game and then JJ McCarthy came in. Running team. Running team. If Ohio State shuts this down, which I think they do, I think Ohio State has the best linebacker core in the nation. They're very, very – well, probably not in the nation, but top three linebacker core in the nation. Very, very, very solid. I like Ohio State to win this. I think John Harbaugh was a fluke last year. Not a fluke, an anomaly. But that I future like first-round like quarterback, C.J. Stroud. Yeah, number huh? one overall pick, C.J. Stroud. Absolute – Look, Bust of a pick. But go ahead and take he's going to beat him down, dude. He believes in CJ Shroud. I don't think so. I like I like Ohio State to win that game, though. I just I don't think Harbaugh can do it two years in a row. 